Welcome back to Soda City Live. A beautiful and bright 15-year-old Midland student is still leaving her mark on others more than 10 years after a tragedy. Community members say Gabby Swanson was a beloved student at Ridgeview High School and an overall exceptional teen. She was a straight A student that teachers describe as an academic prodigy with a bright future ahead. Her death in 2012 shook the community, but those who loved her are ensuring her legacy will live on through the halls of Ridgeview and beyond. The Blazer family continues this year with this annual Cuts for Gabby event in honor of her life. Joining us today with more are assistant principals with Ridgeview High School. We have Curtis Bates and Jennifer McLeod. Thank you both for joining us so much today. You Thank doing? you. You guys, um, I know that this was something very traumatic for the community. Um, and Jennifer, you personally knew Gabby. You were uh, her teacher. She was one of your students. Um, and I, I admire the way that you all have continued to, to keep her memory alive. And I know we mentioned a little bit about Gabby, but you can certainly tell us a little bit more and the impact that her life had on yours. So Gabby, um, when you describe students, you always try to find that student that encompasses Ridgeview and that school. And um, at Ridgeview, we challenge our students to be exceptional in our four A's, academics, arts, activities, and athletics, and Gabby was that person, even as a freshman in high school. She was a straight A student. If you talk to her teachers, they would talk about her incredible writing ability. Um, she was a cheerleader. She was involved in um, guitar and singing. She was passionate about it, and she was involved in clubs like HOSA. So she really encompassed Ridgeview and um, is what we look for yeah. for our students. Now, when you got the news of her, her disappearance and then uh, learned what had happened, what were some of the things that were going through your mind? We just didn't know. Um, they came to us, asked us some questions about her whereabouts, and almost a frantic, mm -hmm. because she was part of a Ridgeview family. She mm -hmm. was part of our biohealth science magnet program, and we are a close, tight-knit group. There's about 44 students in that program within her freshman class. And so we were just like, what's going on? Where is she? How can we help find her? Mm. So we were very active in searches. We were very active in um, working with the community, just putting out leaflets, trying to help find her. Um, and it was also a time for us in our program where the activities we're doing were also relevant to what her passions were. So it was f hard for our students to process. Mm. I'm sure I'm sure it was. And Curtis, were you at Ridgeview when this happened? And if not, how did you hear about the story and how did it impact you personally? Well, at the time I was a teacher in another district, mm -hmm. uh, neighboring district, and um, it, I just really grabbed, uh, if I could grab my students and hug them and let them know that it was going to be okay, I, I would have done that. Um, but it, it, was, it was a horrific time for us. You know, I, I can show compassion for the community of Ridgeview at that time because that was horrific. Mm, absolutely. And again, you all have done a great job of keeping her, her memory alive in the halls of Ridgeview. Um, tell us more about the Cuts for Gabby. What is this event and who is it for? So this is for our graduating seniors. This is, the Cuts for Gabby is just an, uh, one, one phase of the initiative. So this is a memorial scholarship for mm -hmm. her in her name. Uh, the Cuts for Gabby is a fundraiser that we do to uh, help us raise money for that. Last year we were able to give out uh, uh, six or eight scholarships in her name to our graduating seniors on our assembly, uh, senior assembly. Um, this year we're looking to do a little bit more. Um, so each year we're, we're, we're striving to raise the goal. Mm -hmm. um, this event is gonna take place on September the 8th, that Sunday afternoon, uh, walk-ins um, that day. If you're not able to make it, then you can go to the flyer that we have on our websites and our social media outlets. And on the, on the right side of that flyer, you should be able to scan that QR code and you can schedule your haircut for that day. So we're not just, just doing haircuts, we're doing eyebrow, eyebrow arches. Okay, so you can come getting through. them all together. Yeah, Are you, you know, trying to say something? Yeah, no, you're trying to say something? <laughs> you're good, you're okay. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying you can come through that day as yeah. well. So we're doing more, we're offering more than just the basic cuts. And it, it's just $10. Absolutely, and I'm sure there are some people whose eyebrows look okay yeah. that may not need to, <laughs> to get them done or get their hair cut. What are some ways that they can support 
even if they're not getting the service. So we are still accepting your contributions. I know that I, I keep my hair cut, you know, <laughs> I, I keep my hair done um, a certain way. So I, I just make contributions towards yeah. it. So any amount, one, two, three dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. If you want to donate that, then that's 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 in, if that's been laid on your heart to do, then we accept that as well. Sounds good. Well, I want to thank the both of you for joining us today on our show, telling us more about how you all are um, honoring Gabby, her family, her life, her friends, because I'm sure um, a lot of them still probably feel that impact, that void from her absence. Um, and again, I think this is an incredible event and you're helping students do what she was unable to do, which was graduate, helping them with the next steps in their future. Um, and so again, where can folks go if they like more information about this organization? or if they like to give. Is there an online option as well? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You can go to Ridgeview. Um, you can go to Richland2.org and you can search for our school that way. You can find us on, um, on our Twitter page, our Facebook page, or our, um, uh, what's the uh, IG page? We're RV Blade. All the socials. All the socials. <laughs> We're on all the social media outlets and the flyer is there. I even post it on my personal social. So okay. you'll find it there. We'll, you'll, you'll get it if you're looking for it. All right, sounds good, sounds good. And I know that Ridgeview um, and District 2 is honored to have the two of you uh, be a part of this and the amazing work that you're doing. Um, students, you know, I'm sure a lot of them remember you and will remember you years to come. Um, and we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Soda City Live again. Thank you. Thank you.